Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We're playing as the Spiral Mandate with the Leviathan Story Pack DLC and the Heinlein patch. Now, I was thinking a little bit about what we might be able to do to uh, prevent more of these Katoknor guys from uh, filling up this world. And I think what we're going to do is, over here on Honorary Welk, we'll spend some influence, which I don't like doing, but... Uh, don't really have much choice if I want to ensure that they uh, that we get as many of the uh, whole fear guys as possible. So we're going to just go ahead and let's see that one is growing. So go ahead and move over here, and you go ahead and move over here, and we'll just uh, go ahead and resettle these two pops for 90 influence. Um, that way we've got. I mean, we got to deal with this guy, but. Um, don't really have a choice, so let's go ahead and just resettle them. Of course, uh, they are now unemployed. Let's immediately start building some uh, basic science labs. There we go. And of course, we've got uh, buildings that aren't being worked here. We'll start by growing back for, uh, uh, to get our happiness back here. Um, now, there is one other thing that we can kind of hope for. Uh, but I'm not sure if it will trigger. So, it's possible that these guys might ask for one of their pops. I don't know if they will. They should. Um, I mean, you know, from a story-based perspective, you know, uh, I believe they asked for one of ours at some point a while back. Um, in fact, where is the preserve? Well, we can actually double-check that. Not there. Not there. Ah, it's going to be down here, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Alright, so... Yeah, if we take a look here... Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a Welk here. Um... Okay. Uh, see, the thing that I'm not sure about, I mean, I know that they'll ask for, like, I think that these guys were from one of the, um, <clears throat> uh, what was it, the, the, you know, digitized vault thing that we found a while back, but we didn't actually uh, keep those around, someone else did. Um, I think if we go into the species, we can actually easily see which ones were that way. Uh, let's see. Ganvius and Gagasi are both, uh, and the Dima Zanlin are from that. Um, I would hope that these guys would detect that I've got a new, uh, you know, pop in my empire might come you know, ask for them. But I'm not sure if they will. Uh, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, if they do, that would get the number down a little bit. Otherwise, uh, once we get another Gaia world, like uh, Prophet's Retreat, then I'll just move them off. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. Complete. <sighs> hmm. Be a little short of breath for some reason. I did just, uh... Ah, damn it! Stop dying, people! No, Scientist Nancy has died! Ah, boo! Alright, were you... You were my careful one. Oh, Pure Hulk is probably gonna die soon. But I believe that there was... Yep, there was another careful person. And I'd like to have another careful person around, just so that, uh, um, you know, we, we don't have to worry about uh, too much, you know, failure uh, if we get some more anomalies. So go ahead, go back to, uh, oh, I should probably upgrade. Yeah, just go ahead and assist research. You don't need the upgrade right now. Uh, I'll get the, I'll get people renamed later. That one requires copying and pasting. 
because I don't my keyboard can't do the uh, uh, A and E uh, uh, ligature. That is just outside of my borders. I mean, I suppose I could always uh, terraform a small world into a uh, desert world and move them there, but ah, stop dying! Governor Ashley has died now. Uh, tile blocker clearer would be good. We don't have one of those. Um, governing speckled whelk. Let's go ahead and have you, uh... Govern, and I'm going to need to see where I want to put these, because I've got two spare leaders. Uh, governors. Uh, are both of my... Nope. Broadleaf is not uh, governed. Um, so, Remy Engler, you go ahead and govern that. And... I don't know. Just This will just get you experience. They're much more effective when they are governing a whole sector because they'll get that plus ten percent uh, happiness bonus when for all the planets when they're at uh, uh, level uh, five. All right, let's get back into it. Wait for more people to die. I'm sure that's going to start happening. Construction complete. All right, we can go ahead and upgrade that. Uh, we can upgrade this to... What exactly are we getting? We're getting society research, and we're getting a physics research. So we'll go with a bio lab, I think. That spaceport is has finished its stuff. That's good. Getting pretty close to capping out on both uh, minerals and energy again. How are my sectors doing on stuff? Oh, hello! Here follows the latest newsletter for all our patients. We have abandoned the attempts to create scent-centered media. It was a foolish idea and has brought nothing but wasted time and unpleasant odors. In order to find our way back again, we will need donations from our trusted patrons. We thank you for your continued support. Oh, well, we would like to donate. I'll take that, uh... 50 influence that helps for my uh, replace some of what I got for, or spent on um, moving the pops around. So that's nice. Well, actually, there's this desert world. I could cancel the terraforming here. Nah. Perhaps there are star nations in this galaxy that are even more worthless than this spiral mandate. If so, we have yet to meet them. Oh, you haven't met yourself. You will forgive me if I dim my display, Norilka. I simply cannot stand to look at your nauseating appearance. I love insulting in this game. It's so much fun. Construction complete. Okay, you have finished some construction. Um, let's go ahead and get this Betharian stone. And we'll go for some more power here. Power hub? Sure, we'll go for the power hub. And the centralized Wakegi uh, commonalities made peace with the Helven Royal Worlds. I do not remember who the Helven Royal Worlds were. Oh, these guys? Uh, they are now a vassal, okay. And we did cap out on our energy. Do I have your, uh... Nope, I do not have your strategic resource. Gimme, give gimme. Give Tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Tell us about the dimensional horror. Our instruments monitored the immense energy surge when the entity pierced its way into our realm of existence. What is it, really? It is a creature of pure malice, born in a dimension that bears more than a striking resemblance 
to the realm of hell as described by many galactic religions. What we are seeing is but a small part of a greater whole. The creature in its entirety is multitudes larger. It is very fortunate that it is unable to complete its transition into our universe. Had it been successful, the creature would likely have consumed all life in the galaxy by now. Tell us how to defeat it. Oh, that, that. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but uh, come back. Uh, okay, well, I got something out of that. Oh, that, that sucked up a lot of our, uh, energy. Alright, well, uh, let's trade for energy credits again. And you know what, let's, uh, talk to you guys again. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll talk to the foxes. Tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Tell us about the automated dreadnought. A sad story. Its masters have been dead for millions of years, but this massive warship continues to stand vigil over the broken rubble of their empire. Oh, what is it really? It was one of several flagships belonging to an unusually powerful interstellar empire that flourished in a small region of our galaxy some seven million years ago. As is so often the case, that empire was brought to a sudden and violent end at the hands of its neighbors in a series of very destructive wars. The dreadnought you have encountered is the last of its kind, and it continues to dutifully patrol its assigned system despite the death of its crew. Many attempts have been made throughout the ages to put the old warship to its final rest. None successful. Uh, tell us how to deal with it. Yeah, 5,000 uh, energy credits, and we get Dreadnought Dazzler modifier added, giving the following effects. Damage to automated dreadnought, plus 25%. Um, which I believe means that we got the... Uh, Portal Pacifier. Damage to Dimensional Horror plus 25%. Yeah. The portal spawned by the Dimensional Horror can be destabilized if we launch pinpoint attacks against certain weak areas. Uh, you know what? I got plenty of, uh, um, minerals, so... I'm Dreadnought. Tell us how to defeat it. So I got that. And then let's just go get some more energy. There we go. That's good. I'm happy with that. I mean, assuming that I go after either of them. I would definitely like to go after the um, Dreadnought. And I might actually be able to now. Oh yeah, I've got 25k. That, that might do it. Uh, let's go ahead and get everyone upgraded. And let's try it out. Construction complete. Okay, Port Welk has uh, finished some construction. All right, there's quite a bit of uh, minerals. Um, there's also engineering output plus 20% on this world, so I'll keep that in mind. But uh, I think minerals are going to be what we want out of this world. So let's go ahead and start building some stuff. And since you're growing, get that Batharian power plant. Not sure how much this is going to cost, actually. Let's, uh, let me see. Oh, 892. That's actually not too bad. Kind of surprised, actually. Unemployment. What do I want out of this world? I guess I'll go for uh, some more science right there. I should probably be doing more to get more science anyway. Uh, scientist is leveled up. And it rolls over to going over 100%. I think that's because a ship joined us before it got to 100%. I think that's what might have happened. I'll leave that unupgraded for now. 
ships upgraded. Over here, though, let's go ahead and build some science. Build some science. Uh, let's see. We are getting physics research adjacency, so let's go for, for a physics lab there. We're getting both society and physics, so let's go for a bio lab. Okay, 26.8k. Let's not jump right into it. Let's go over here first. Construction complete. Okay, finished your construction here. Um, hmm. Well, there's physics on this tile, right? Yeah. So let's go for a physics lab. There we go. Construction complete. And you get that uh, Therian power plant upgraded. Now, I am going to save this before we uh, make the attack, um, and that's specifically because I don't want to lose uh, the fleet that I have. That would really suck. Uh, adaptable. Excellent. Okay, I don't think we will, but uh, we are going to definitely take damage here. Also, what are there in that? Oh, you know what? I need a uh, I need a scientist down here. Let's get you down before we uh, do anything. And the reason is because A will want to uh, survey the system, and B um, I, we're going to get a uh, research project out of it. Assuming we succeed. Research complete. Oh, hello. Uh, secrets of life. Better bio labs. Oh, manifest destiny. Border range plus 20%. And food plus 25%. Wow, these are some good texts that I've completely missed out on. Uh, definitely manifest destiny. Before anything else. Absolutely. Construction complete. All right, let's see. Well, I guess I'll just... Uh, let this go, and when it gets more pops, I'll, uh... I'll build some new buildings. Construction complete. And starboard Welk is uh, finished construction as well. Similar thing, I think I'll let uh, more pops grow before I build anything else. And they, uh, it might be time to uh, go to war with the uh, Thethi Shard again. Filthy lizards, you have encroached upon our space for the last time. Withdraw immediately or we will cleanse the stain upon the universe that is your worthless species. So they want to de destroy now seven? No, six. Six colonies. No way, we will not be bullied. Go to hell. Go to hell and you die. You're almost down. I hope we get our new, uh, our next uh, election soon. Yeah, it's just a couple months away. Okay. Let's go ahead and save quickly. Haley's eel, turn off. Uh, Evasive. Jump in with the uh, fleet. Oh, well, um, that was unexpected. My election hasn't uh, happened yet. That's not good. Um, well, 
Let's go attack the automated dreadnought. Haley's eel. You come in. Survey that. Actually, not sure if you're surveying everything. You are not. Okay. Hmm. How do I select just... If I zoom in really far? Nope. All right. Well, we can come back for that. Okay, there we go. We've got our election. It is going to finish on three months. Oh boy. Um, well, there is another happiness person who also has battleship build cost, uh, who is also an off-world miner, but I don't think we can really take advantage of that. Oh, boy. Um, how's my influence doing? You know, yeah, I think I might... Uh, well, I mean, Lee Stewart is only 67 years old. Yeah, actually, I'll just let this happen. Um, they haven't attacked me yet. I'll let it go for a little while. See what happens. Construction complete. Port Welk has uh, finished some construction. Oh, good. Get some more upgrades there. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah. All right. That uh, that battleship is going to go down. Hasn't attacked yet. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, it has large plasma cannons, large phased disruptors. And there we go, we lost uh, one battleship. Which does kind of suck, but um, what are you going to do? There we go. Survey that. Head up here, survey that. Okay, we've taken down its shields. We did lose a battleship already, but uh, we're doing a pretty good job. Oh, look at that. Look at these shots go. This is this is the uh, the formation that you get in when uh, uh, you've got these extra large weapons. Situation log updated. Okay, new ruler mandate. Lee Stewart has been uh, appointed. They haven't actually done anything yet. They lost another... Uh, there we go. Dreadnought disabled. We have managed to disable the automated Dreadnought in the Daranma system. Despite the punishment it took from our ships, the structural integrity of the warship's massive hull remains largely intact. Our boarding party parties found the mummified remains of the Dreadnought's alien crew still manning their stations. Before expiring, they activated some kind of automated patrol mode, which the limited shipboard AI has been locked in for the past 7.8 million years. Although it would take an incredible amount of resources, some of our engineers believe that the Dreadnought can be restored and put back into service with our fleet. It would certainly make for a powerful flagship. It would be a waste of resources, salvage it for parts, gain 5,000 minerals, 5,000 energy, and 1,000 engineering research. Or that ship will sail the stars again under our flag. Issue special project, repair Dreadnought. Situation Let's go ahead and do that. So, we lost nine battleships out of that, uh, but we did take out the uh, automated dreadnought. Uh, plasma cannons, phase disruptors, um, and that's really about it. It did not evade at all. Uh, it had a 92% hit ratio. My hit ratio was only uh, 89%. Um, although the uh, giga cannons had 97% hit ratio. That's pretty good. 
Bit by enemy, 0%. Missed, 11%. Twenty-four thousand. I actually dealt uh, more damage with our energy weapons. Interestingly enough, but the plasma throwers must have done it. And with all those plasma shots. Okay. Well, uh, Alara the Second has uh, gained two levels, and unfortunately, Lee, I think you're going to be uh, dying soon. Um, because, uh, yeah. I didn't want to spend the, uh, the resources to, uh... Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so I need a construction ship in orbit. And it's gonna take 10,000, uh, engineering research. Let's research that. That is going to set us back, um... Well, uh, apparently about 49 months, it looks like, uh, given how much long it would take to finish that up. Well, maybe more. I don't know. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Disabled Dreadnought. Uh, you guys uh, go home and repair. Meanwhile... You survey the system. Okay, so we've taken care of the automated dreadnought. I am not sure if we could go to the uh, dimensional horror. We could. We could. Um, we may do that. We may just do that. Um, I could try to do a little bit of damage to these guys, but they're gonna. They would definitely get their uh, fleets in beforehand. I mean, it might not actually be such a bad idea to uh, do some damage to to their stuff, uh, simply because that would... Um, uh, they wouldn't rebuild it. So let's see. Uh, you would go in there. I'm thinking about, like, jumping back in here from the from the back. Because I'd like to kind of, like, take out these stations. Like, taking out this station would be pretty nice. There's that shielded world there. Oh, you're still going there. Let's go there. It goes up there. All right. Well, let's see what we could do. Um, I mean, it'll depend on if they send in their fleets into uh, one of my systems. Okay, yeah, we could probably jump in there and uh, try and do some damage on some spaceports and stuff like that. Uh, this will be interesting. I mean, if I lose a few more battleships, I don't mind too much. Um, you know, we got a 22k fleet. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. You go home. Don't know if they're gonna pop in. I should probably set some war demands just to be on the safe side. Uh, humiliate. Wonder why I can't get open borders. Liberate the core. Liberate. Uh, boundary. We'll go ahead and uh, submit those demands. Okay. Research complete. Well, I think we'll find out uh, what happens next time. We did just get hyper shields. Uh, what else do we want? Um, zero point power. That's what we'll go for next. And when we return, uh, we will see if we can uh, do a little bit of uh, hit and run tactics on these guys. I don't think it's going to work too well, but uh, we'll see how it works out. See you next time, everyone.